you wouldn't ever think that you'd see your best friend on a missing poster. It's been almost three years since Molly Tibbetts vanished from a small, quiet town in Iowa. On July 19th, 2018, 20-year-old Molly Tibbetts of Brooklyn, Iowa was reported missing by her family. The night before she was reported missing, Molly was seen jogging down the street near her boyfriend's house. She was supposed to be dog sitting while he was out of town. But when she didn't go into work the next morning, her family was worried. They knew something was terribly wrong. It felt like the entire country was looking for Molly. It's a missing person, my sister actually, just trying to spread the word as much as we can. The search went on for more than a month until tragically, her body was found in a cornfield outside of town. A first degree murder charge was filed today in connection with the disappearance of Molly Tibbet. The suspect, Christian Bahena Rivera. Police say the then 24 year old stabbed Molly to death and then hit her body. Bahena Rivera allegedly told investigators he blacked out and can't remember what happened. One point he tells us that Molly grabbed a hold of her phone and said, you need to leave me alone, I'm gonna call the police. And then she took off running. He in turn chased her down. And then he tells us that at some point in time he blacks out. Investigators have not revealed a motive. Now the suspect is from Mexico, but he spent four years working at a nearby dairy under a fake name. He's pled not guilty to Molly's murder. And Mike Alanis joins us now live. You know, Mike, the suspect confessed and allegedly there may have been DNA in his trunk. So, I mean, what kind of defense might we see? Robin, that's one of the big questions. There's been no hint from his defense attorneys leading up to the trial what their defense strategy uh, will be. There have been questions uh, about whether or not his vi rights were violated, that English is not his first language. Law enforcement may have taken advantage of that, that uh, Bahena Rivera's Miranda rights were not properly read to him. But in November, a judge ruled he gave voluntary statements. You mentioned it, that Molly Tibbetts' blood and DNA allegedly found in his car, and he led authorities to the body. So again, pretty damning evidence. What will be the strategy? We're expecting uh, opening statements coming up Wednesday, Thursday, and we'll be monitoring. Back to you, Robin.